is an owl and welcome to this tutorial on vector tools um, where we're going to compare bitmaps versus vector and then show you how to draw some vector images so let's begin uh, by the end of this lesson you will know the difference between a bitmap and a vector image uh, be able to use uh, vector tools to design a character so I'm going to turn this bitmap image into a vector image by tracing over it using vector tools. So vocabulary you're going to need uh, to pixelate is where you make an image so large that you can see the squares that make up the image and it begins to blur. It doesn't look very good. Um, scale which means size. Uh, bitmap is an image made up of pixels, rows and columns of pixels. Um, a vector image is one that's made up of lines, shapes and text. Uh, a gradient is a colour fading from one colour to another. Um, and so vector images, as I said, contain lines, shapes and text. Um, they don't pixelate when they are enlarged. So you can see this donkey, uh, when it's zoomed in, it's still... Uh, got crisp lines to it. Um, you don't usually use photos in vector images. It is possible, but they will pixelate, so that it's not usually done. Um, and vector images can be scaled without pixelation, so they can be made as big as you like, um, miles and miles in size, and they just won't pixelate. Um, and they're usually in small file sizes. Um, the reason is that they are built using mathematical equations as opposed to this dot is this colour, this dot is this colour, this dot is this colour. So instead of large amounts of information, it's just small amounts of information saying what the shape looks like, what colour it is, where it is, how big the line thickness is not very much information so they, they are generally very very small images file sizes um, and the files extensions file types uh, it's all gone wrong um, are usually PDF and um, that's the uh, that's often a, um, a file uh, like, like a, a document um, file extension but can also be pictures or SVG files um, which is what we're going to look at today. Um, scalar vector graphics is what they are called. Right. So, difference between bitmap and vector. Going over things again. A bitmap is made up of rows of tiny squares. Uh, file types are JPEG, PNG, GIF, or GIF, if you're that way inclined. Um, you can use photos. Uh, they are of a larger file size and um, they're good for detail um, but they pixelate when they're enlarged. Um, vector um, means shapes, they're made up of shapes of uh, uh, lines and text and the file types are things like SVG, uh, PDF and DXF which is um, more of a CAD program uh, file extension. Uh, they don't usually use photos and um, can do but they pixelate so what's the point. Um, they're generally in small file sizes and um, they're rubbish for detail and um, the detail being things like photos uh, uh, but they don't pixelate when they're enlarged. Um, uh, yeah, could be miles wide. Miles and miles wide. Right, two images, roughly the same size, 20 kilobytes. Um, they're zoomed in about 500%, so they've zoomed in a long way, enlarged quite a lot. Um, one is a JPEG file and one is an SVG file. So one is a bitmap, one is a vector image. Which is which? Yep. The uh, vector image is this one. You can see very, very, very sort of sharp um, edges, whereas the uh, the bitmap, the JPEG, has been zoomed in far enough that you can just begin to see the uh, 
the squares that make up the image making a sort of a fuzzy edge um, which is pixelated so sort of jaggedy fuzzy edge right a uh, bit of pen tool practice so we're going to be using a different bit of uh, web software today called photo p um, because it's got a pen tool that we can use for creating vector images vector paths um, little things to uh, pick up on with this um, I really suggest you watch what I do, but then pause, have a bit of a think about it, maybe go back a little bit, play it again, just to kind of get the knack of um, how I'm doing this drawing before you practice for yourself. Right, so I'm going to draw a triangle, a heart, and a car. Um, yeah, so we're going to go to Photo P, and we're going to use the pen tool. So there's the pen tool. Um, uh, the pen tool works in two ways. You can either click and release, which gives you a corner, or you can click and drag, which gives you a curve. So things like the top of the heart and the inside of the wheels of the car. Um, when you're drawing with a pen tool, um, make sure that you close the path. So when you get around to the, the beginning again, um, make sure you click on that beginning dot to close the path. It tells Photop that you've finished with that particular layer or that particular shape. Right, and um, Control Z is undo. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, we're going to, uh, oh, and lastly, we're going to practice with the fill and the stroke, which is the line. So let's have a quick play. So in Photop. I've got a new canvas, so that was just file new, um, and it gives you some options, but I just press create, because we just want a blank canvas and to get on with it. So, using the pen tool down here, I'm going to draw a triangle, so listen, listen and as I explain it through, I'm going to click and let go and move, click and let go move, click and let go, move um, and I'm going to bring it back to the beginning so you can see over here I've just drawn some points so if I try and click back it says close path it doesn't always happen straight away quite often you have to do undo and start again right, just give it a fill colour something that's not white Let's go red. Okay, so there's a triangle. The heart, click and let go, click and let go, click and drag sideways, like that, and click and let go, click and drag sideways, like that and then click and let go and then try and close the path path closed, wonderful last one is the car so click and let go click and let go click and let go click and let go click 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 and let go right and then click and let go and click and drag click and let go and then click and let go and click and drag oh this is going to be a big wheel arch never mind uh, click and let go and then try and close the path no undo control z Try and click on the path. No. And again. Close path. Fabulous. Right, okay. Uh, last little thing. So we've got uh, red uh, fill colours. That's great. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the colour and how to change the line. So before we do that, we'll just quickly rename these. 
gives you a bit of thinking space doing this renaming business. It's mildly therapeutic. As long as you can spell. Um, double click on the name. Heart. And then lastly, double click on the name. And this one's a car. Okay, so I'm going to click on the triangle with my pen tool still active and I'm going to change the fill colour keeping it solid change the fill colour to I don't know, green something like that it's quite repulsive and then the stroke leave it at black I'm going to go for let's say uh, stroke size 10 so it's visible Okay, there's the stroke. Right, onto the heart. I'm going to give this one a gradient fill. So instead of fill with no fill or solid fill, I'm going to go for this gradient fill. And click on the gradient bar to change the colours. I'm going to go with, let's see, yeah, we'll leave pink for the heart. Let's just choose something weird. And go for blue on this end, something like that. Press OK and OK. OK, so that's done a vertical heart, and that's because in my fill, uh, this angle normally that says 60. Let's just change it back to 60 so you can see how it started. Um, and then can you see the it's the, the fade is sort of going diagonally across a little bit. Let's just try and do vertical again. So change it back to 90. And now you can see it's starting at the top, fading into the pink at the bottom. Uh, stroke, let's give it um, dotted lines. Might as well. Some dotted lines. Uh, make that 20. So it's extra ridiculous. Not to try again. 20. Uh -huh. Oh, right, bother. I've somehow created an extra layer. Don't know how. Let's delete that. Go back to my heart. So again, going to make that 20. This is nice and thick. And let's just change that to dotted. Just like that. Okay, lastly, the car. Um, I've been through a solid fill, gradient fill. Um, so we're going to try a pattern, so let's go with that one. Um, can you see the, the swirls on the car? You can change the size of the, the pattern so the swirls get smaller, bigger, as you fancy. Um, I don't think there's anything left to show you on stroke, so you can just change it to no stroke. Might as well, let's just leave it like that. Okay, out uh, here. Yeah. You can do things like gradient stroke if you want to. That's all quite crazy. Right, so have a little bit of a play. Go to Photo P, grab hold of the pen tool, and try clicking and letting go, and then also clicking and dragging to see if you can create these shapes.